in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, welcome to our live stream Zoom service on this sixth Sunday of Easter. It's good to see uh, images of many of you on the screen in front of me. Uh, and we're here, of course, at St. Mary's Church in Bathwick as we, as we continue in these weeks of Easter tide, and, and as also as we continue in this uh, period of lockdown in our nation. We come to worship God, and as we do so, we acknowledge our, the ways in which we have failed one another and failed God. So we bring our faults before God, knowing that through the love of Jesus and the power of his Holy Spirit, we can be made new. Lord Jesus, you died for our sins and rose again to conquer death. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you promised us the Holy Spirit to be our advocate. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, your Holy Spirit brings strength and courage. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and peace to his people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God we can the King, Almighty God, God and our Father, we worship, worship you, we give you thanks, you thanks. praise, praise you for your glory. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, O Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you do make the way to save the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Lord of Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone know our name. You alone are the best. You alone are the most high, Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. In the glory of the Father. Amen, Lord. Let us pray. God, our Redeemer, you have brought, delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an inscription to another worship who is on earth, does not live by hands, so he made all nations to inhabit the whole earth. And he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the place where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as, it e as even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since we are God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by the art and imagination of mortals, while God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to repent, because he has fixed a day on which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed, and of this he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Who will harm you if you're eager to do what is good? But even if you do suffer from doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear. 
do not be intimidated, but in your hearts sanctify Christ as Lord. Always be ready to make your defence to anyone who demands from you an account of the hope that is within you. Yet do it with gentleness and reverence. Keep your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who abuse you for your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if suffering should be God's will, than to suffer for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring God, bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh and made alive in the spirit, in which he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey when God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark in which a few, that is, eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which is prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Christ, who has gone to heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities and powers made subject to him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with, also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides in you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned, I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live, you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Christ. I speak in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Over recent weeks and months, whilst the world has been transformed by lockdown, many people have felt isolated disconnected from one another, perhaps even abandoned by God. But today's readings remind us we are not alone, for the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, is with us. As we draw closer to the Feast of Pentecost, we are reminded of the power of the Spirit in the world. In today's Gospel, Jesus promises to send that Holy Spirit as an advocate to his followers. The Spirit will support the community of faith after Jesus' death and resurrection. Recognising the distress of his friends, Jesus 
Jesus reveals that although he will be physically leaving the earth, the Holy Spirit will sustain them. Jesus' promise is both comforting and instructive. While foretelling the role of the Spirit, Jesus promises the, proclaims the importance of love in the community. If you love me, he says, you will keep my commandments. Earlier in this block of teaching, which is set in St. John's account of the Last Supper, Jesus had offered a new command. Love one another as I have loved you, so you also should love one another. A modification, if you like, of the Jewish command to love your neighbor as yourself. By loving one another, we are filled with God's spirit. Throughout the book of the Acts of the Apostles, which we've been reading throughout Eastertide, we read about how that spirit inspired the earliest Christian communities. And in today's first reading that Robin read to us, we read about Paul at the Areopagus in Athens. And filled with that spirit, Paul challenges his Greek audience to recognize and to embrace God. It is an evocative scene in which the wandering Jewish Christian preacher confronts the center of Greek culture. In a sense, Paul is confronting the whole of Greek philosophy and religion. Paul cleverly uses the Greek philosophical tradition as a sort of conversation partner in that approach to God. And he concludes by inviting them to recognize the one whom God has appointed, through whom he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. And the following verses indicate that a number of believers, of members of Paul's audience, joined him and become believers. The world of Acts can, in some senses, seem very different from contemporary faith and life. But it is an account of how the Holy Spirit manifested itself in the spread of Christianity throughout the ancient Mediterranean world. And we are no different whenever we open ourselves to the same Holy Spirit. In a time of lockdown and social distancing, it's tempting to think that the Spirit is absent. We're so used to having physical, sacramental, Rituals, baptism, Holy Communion as examples. And these serve as a way of expressing faith and connection with God and to each other. How can we receive the Spirit without baptism? How can we have God within us without regularly receiving the Eucharist? But the Holy Spirit is not constrained in the same ways that we are. Sacraments do indeed connect us to God's grace in tangible and visible ways, but they're not the only vehicles for grace. Remember that when Jesus promises us the Spirit, he does not limit it to particular rituals, but rather promises the Spirit as an advocate, a defender, a comforter, who resides within the community, whose members love one another. Over the past weeks and months, there have been countless stories of love. You can think of your own examples. Healthcare workers caring for the sick, delivery drivers ensuring the arrival of goods, agricultural workers producing food, people and organizations creating and donating protective equipment, anyone working in an essential service, anyone who stayed home to save others, to protect, to save lives. All of these are examples of love. So in the absence of physical connection 
and sacramental actions, we trust that the Holy Spirit will sustain all of us who love one another. Amen. Together now we profess the faith of the Church as we find it in the Apostles' Creed. We believe in one God, Father We believe in Jesus Christ, only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born on the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate was crucified and died in the He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He ascended into heaven. And he will come to judge living and the dead. And he will come to judge living and the dead. And the dead. We, believe we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy, Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us turn to the Lord and offer our prayers of intercession, confident that our loving Redeemer will listen to our needs. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for the leaders of all Christian churches, for our own priests, bishops, and archbishops, for the Bishop of Rome, for the patriarchs of the East, that they may lead their people with wisdom and faith to be true followers of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord we graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for Christians who are persecuted for their faith in our world today, that they may find strength in the Holy Spirit and may find safety and support in their communities. We pray for the moderation of Islamic fundamentalism and of extremist religious practice in all faiths, including our own. We pray for other faiths as they search for you in their own way. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have lost their faith, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus to open their hearts to you and that you will open yours to them. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Father, we pray for those who suffer through injury, illness, or disability, that the message of your love and strength according to their need and inspire others to provide care and understanding. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Yes. Father, we pray that your spirit may reside in us, that we may do your will and guide us in your way of truth and light. Teach us to be selfless and to love others as you love us. Stay with us, Lord, and inspire us and keep us in you. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. Peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another. We can a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with peace you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Let's go. You, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Let's go. You, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Forever. Wash my hands in the crescent sea so I come to altar. Wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his church. Creator of all, you wash away our sins, you give us new birth by the Spirit, and redeem us in the blood of Christ. As we celebrate the resurrection, renew your gift of life within us, we ask this in the name of Jesus, the risen Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right to give you thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. But chiefly are we bound to praise you because you raised him gloriously from the dead. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was offered for us and has taken away the sins of the world. By his death he has destroyed death. And by his rising to life again, he has restored to us everlasting life. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you, and saying, Holy, 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 Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, Sunday, Sunday. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. So Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. 
as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour has taught us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are we are one body, because we all share one bread. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, Lamb of God you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us eat the feast. Hallelujah. We together pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I, I believe, believe that you are, you are present in the holy sacrament of the altar. I love you, you are above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul. So that I might myself my soul be fully to you and our life forever. Amen. of Christ.
Let us pray. God, our Father, whose Son Jesus Christ gives the water of eternal life, may we thirst for you, the spring of life and the source of goodness, through him who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. By the peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.